Hey everybody, Master Eagle here. Last time on Resident Evil, I died when going into the garden to dogs. Because I hate dogs in games. Yeah. Now I said I'd meet you guys over by the gate. But that was until I found out that there's a door that I didn't go through. So, we're going to go through that door. That I forgot about. And then we're going to go through the gate. So, I believe it was this door. A giant deer's head. And a fish tank! Yay, fish tank. I don't even know if there's anything about these rooms. Because we already, obviously, have everything that we need. Okay, apparently I'm done moving that. It's a letter. The top of the letter is missing. The remaining says, Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the process by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forgot more about you by the day. So I chose a peaceful death, rather than become the living dead. Within an hour I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. Aw, oh, poor Martin. Okay, well obviously I did that wrong. So let's leave and go back in because I'm supposed to move the fish tank first. erp a -derp. And I had to re-empty the fish tank. Yes? No? Or did I completely and utterly just mess this up and now I can't get it? Now I can move it. And... Inside these little doors is... Explosive rounds! Okay. I've been thinking about taking some explosive rounds or something to those freaking dogs too. Oh, hey, a lighter. And hiding back here, we find a clip. And there's an herb right there that we can't pick up. I want to see what color it is. Looks like it's red. And it won't tell me. Okay, I guess I drop off this stuff and we can go back out to the garden. Wonder why the game angles the character 
or the camera at the uh, head of the deer. I don't know. Okay, now if I remember it correctly, the way to the garden was through that, uh, um, oh, and I'm gonna hold on to that lighter, or, nah, if I need it, I'll find out where I need it, clear out all the enemies in the way, and come back for it. But yeah, I think I remember how to get back to the garden. So, I will see you guys by the big shiny gate. See you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. So, let's show you what we got here. Of course, got the map back. We can't go in that direction down there. We had to go through this gate. And I think after I'm done fighting one of these pairs of dogs, and I r did really good fighting the pairs of dogs behind, before this gate, in that room. As in, they didn't hit me at all. Okay, now we can run across again. Try not to get killed by snakes again. And by killed, I mean poisoned. Hi. 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 Good day to you, snakes. Goodbye. Still in fine condition. Lol. The battery is pulled out, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, through another gate. Hopefully, I can find a. Oh. One of those work too. Shit. No. I hate dogs. Meet you back there again.
This is probably going to be the point where things start to get annoying. Because I really don't want to have to use my shotgun to kill dogs. But I think I'm going to have to use my shotgun to kill dogs. Which is kind of a waste. So, meet you guys back over by the dogs. Later. Okay, so I killed the dogs in this room. And... Apparently I have to get this, uh, elevator to work so I can close the, uh, water passage up there. And then by doing that, I will be able to... By the way, I don't think that I got a clip from that room that I was in earlier. I must have forgot it. Guess I'll grab it later. Damn, boy. Freaking dogs. Stupid dog, you made me look bad. Um... I'll take one of these and mix it into a green, just in case. And then I'll grab that green as well. Yes, please. There. My one toxic mixed herb. Hopefully the only one I need. Okay, so let's find this battery so I can turn the elevator back on. Okay, the fact that they just randomly decided to put a gargoyle statue there, it's kind of weird. I think that should be... Okay, so I found a guardhouse, and there's the courtyard. Either they... I don't think they have room for anything else. Is this the final area of the game? Maybe. Ooh! First aid spray. Yes. Oh, and some explosive rounds. Yes. Yeah, I know. Okay, so. Let's put this here and exchange it for the red herb. I can combine these two. And I believe if I wanted to, I could mix a blue herb with these and make like some kind of super herb or something. Because I think a red and a green probably has the same thing as three greens. And... Uh, blue 
or yeah, blue, red, and green is like a full heal plus toxin. It's pretty much a first aid spray. Possibly. If I'm understanding this correctly. Hi, first aid spray. Guess where you're going? Inside the box. Because I'm trying not to use any first aid spray until I know there's like a boss or something. Which even then, I have a lot of mixed herbs. Because I've actually not been getting hit that much. Surprisingly. Are they expecting me to use explosive rounds inside the garden or something? Or are they just giving that to me because I'm near the end and things are going to start getting hard? Because, you know, those dogs were pretty tough. Not gonna lie, they were, they were quite a bit of a pain in the ass. In fact, I don't want to fight the dogs again. Come on, there's always one. So far there has always been one. Where's the ink ribbon? I'm not even kidding, like, every single time that I've found a typewriter, there has been an ink ribbon next to it. Is it behind the shelf? No, I can't push the shelf. Well, we'll try exploring a little bit more. A couple more rooms. And then we'll go back inside there and save. Oh, and the game won't tell me which door went to the garden because I'm in a different area. Of course. Behind door number one. Hi. It's like, mmm, I'm going back up. Just seemed like a good idea. And it was. Uh, sure. What do I get? And I get a C room key. Yay! I don't even know where that goes. Oh shit. Hi. I didn't even hear you walking around. You sneaky little shit. Ah, oh, really? Shot him for nothing? Man, there's gotta be something over here. Oh, there is. There's a book. So, let me go put stuff away so I can read the book. Sounds like a good idea, I would think. There's gotta be something important inside that book. So, we'll put something away, we'll read the book, and I think that'll be it. How many ink ribbons do I have right now? Two? Only two. Put the C room key away because, you know, I haven't been, I haven't seen where to use it yet, so it gets stored. It gets stored because I have, don't know what to do with it. Oh, is this 
is going to have like a nightmare story in it or something. Or not. Can I not read the book? Okay. I can't read the book. Um, that proposes certain things as in... Also, that's not a map. Because I kind of want a map for this area. But no, that proposes that uh, this... That there's a library in here somewhere. So if there's a library in here. Oh. Ow! Jerk. Okay, to be completely honest, I do not like the giant long hallway where it's nothing in it. I also don't like that. A giant room with nothing in it. These are a few of my least favorite things. I ain't even gonna say anything about the statue. Hmm. That might need the C room key, or it needs a room key, or room 002 key. And I not get. Come on! Every single time I'm going to walk by that, that thing's going to jump out at me. Seriously? Whatever. Okay, that one actually made me jump because I thought I was going to be... It wasn't going to do that again. But apparently it's going to do that every time I walk by it. So, next time on Resident Evil, we are going to explore the guardhouse. Unfortunately, I was not able to find any ink ribbons near this, uh, typewriter. And normally that is a thing that normally happens, but, you know, unfortunately there wasn't one. So next time on... Yeah, I already told you what we're doing next time. Have a good day. Bye.